Hello, this is Tim Mintner again, and now we're going to take the USB drive that we created in our earlier video, and we're going to do a migration from Windows XP to Windows 7. Now I'm running Windows XP 32-bit, and I am going to migrate this, including all of the user data, to Windows 7 64-bit. So as you can see here, I've got basically a simple environment. I've got a single user on this machine, and I have basically a lot of user data, basically in this case a little over a gig of user data with some documents and some pictures. I've got some presentations, some spreadsheets, and things like that on the desktop. So I inserted my USB drive. Now I'm going to go ahead and kick off the installation of the deployment. So this is going to start the Light Jets Wizard process. I'm going to choose my Windows 7 64-bit task sequence that I created earlier. Click on Next. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to refresh this computer. Give it a computer name. In this case, I'm going to leave it joined to a work group, but I could join it to a domain if I so chose at this point in time. In this screen, I, I need to say where I'm going to store my user data. So I'm going to go ahead and say allow data and settings to be stored locally when possible. I'm not going to back up the computer, but if I wanted to, I could back up the entire operating system to a WIM file just in case user state migration tool did not fully back up uh, all of the information. Here I can choose which language backs. Now these were the language backs that I imported into the workbench. Uh, I'm just going to leave English at this point in time. I can choose my locale information, my time zone, and I'm going to go ahead and install Office 2007 on this machine as it's installed currently. I need to enter in a local administrator password for my environment. I'm not going to enable BitLocker for this deployment, but we do give you the capability of automating that. So now I'm going to click on Begin and start the deployment process. So we're going to start the steps in the task sequence, and we're going to start doing the user state migration capture here. So when we do user state migration with MDT 2010 Beta 2, um, we are using USMT version 4.0, which includes hard link migration. So hard link migration leaves the files in place where they sit on the disk. So it doesn't have to copy the files. It doesn't have to move the files around to another location. So it makes the process extremely fast. Now, in this video, I've added this for speed, but uh, I will essentially migrate all of my user data, a little over a gigabyte in size, in about five minutes time frame. And the nice thing about Hardlink is that it really doesn't matter how much user state you have on that system. It, if I had a gig of data or if I had 40 gig of data, it would take roughly the same amount of time. It's really dependent on the number of files that you have on the system. So now I'm actually capturing the user state. We're using USMT4 and we're using the Hardlink feature. So we're going to let this run here for just a few seconds more. Okay, now we're finished. Now we're rebooting now into our Windows PE environment. You can see that loading up now and starting up. So now I'm starting to install the operating system. We're expanding out the files. I've, again, sped this up so you wouldn't have to watch the complete installation. We've already expanded the files out on the disk. We're checking for any available updates at this point. Now we're finished. And we're going to finish up the process now and go ahead and reboot into the operating system. So now we're actually booting into Windows 7. I just really like this animation. We're finishing up our last bit of steps in our setup here, starting up the services, finishing our, our last configuration items.
then once this finishes, we will at that point reboot into the operating system to finish our uh, application installation and go ahead and restore our user state. So now we're starting back up again. So as you can see, this is a pretty simple process overall, and it would takes a fraction of the time uh, than it would if you were to, say, do an upgrade in place from Windows Vista to Windows 7. So you can do a migration from Windows XP to Windows 7, um, really migrating all of your user data and installing your applications. In this example, we're doing it in a little over an hour time frame, but we've gotten the times down to uh, on a fast disk with the number of uh, um, memory, uh, additional memory, we've gotten that time down to as low as 35, 30 minutes in, in some cases. So now we're going ahead and starting our process again which is done automatically. Doing a little bit of cleanup here. We're checking to see if we joined the domain. In this case, we didn't. And now we're going to go ahead and start the installation process of Office 2007. So I've definitely sped this up, but when I imported Office 2007 into my deployment workbench, it also included all of the latest updates. It's a feature of the Office 2007 setup environment. You can add in additional updates to that um, so that uh, they are present whenever you do your installation. So I can make sure my Office 2007 installation is fully patched. So it's running through my installation, applying my updates, and now my installation is complete. And now I'm going to go ahead and start the restore process. Again, using Hardlink, this is a, a very fast process. It takes between 5 and 10 minutes time frame. Again, I've sped this up for vi the video, but you can see here that my documents on the desktop are fully restored. And I am just about complete with my process. Restoring groups, and now I am finished. So I will get a summary screen here showing that I have no errors in my deployment. Go ahead and click on finish with that, and then I am finished with my deployment. So as you saw here, this took basically a little over an hour in time to migrate from Windows XP to Windows 7, installing the full-blown version of Office 2007 Enterprise Edition with all of the applications, with all of the updates, migrating all of my user data. You can see here that my user data does exist. My pictures are still there. Uh, the icons are still there on the desktop, the, the spreadsheets and the presentations and the Word document that are there. And I am completely finished with my deployment in that time. Thank you very much.